Welcome to CBS This Morning. Good morning, Nora. Good morning, Charlie. This is one heck of a report. We begin with this report. A new report on the Veterans Hospital scandal paints an ugly picture. The VA's internal watchdog says secret waiting lists for health care are widespread. One list includes 1,700 veterans at the VA hospital in Phoenix. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill where lawmakers from both parties are now saying that the VA secretary should go. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Nora. And they are angry because it took the VA's Office of Inspector General almost no time at all to uncover what it calls systemic manipulation of VA data. It is now examining 42 VA facilities and has already discovered some possible cases of civil and criminal violations that it's referring to the Department of Justice. It's time for Secretary Shinseki to step down. The latest revelations triggered more calls from Capitol Hill for VA Secretary Eric Shinseki to resign. These violations should not have happened on his watch. Including for the first time from some Senate Democrats, a trio who are all in the midst of tough re-election campaigns. We expect answers. That's all we're looking for here. A rare late night hearing turned contentious as the House Veterans Affairs Committee questioned VA officials who did not show up for a hearing last week. Until VA understands that we're deadly serious, you can expect us to be over your shoulder every single day. The harsh inspector general's report focused first on Phoenix, where the scandal surfaced. There, they discovered 1,700 veterans who had requested a primary care appointment but were not placed on the electronic waiting list, putting them at risk of being forgotten or lost. Investigators also reviewed the records of 226 veterans who did get an appointment and found their average wait time was 115 days, not the 24 days facility officials initially reported. The VA's inspector general says it's examining 42 VA facilities where scheduling managers may have engaged in manipulation of VA data that distort the legitimacy of reported wait times in an attempt to boost their pay and bonuses. But the inspector general's report points out Congress and the VA have known about similar manipulations and delays for nearly a decade, saying since 2005, the VA Office of Inspector General has issued 18 reports that identified deficiencies in scheduling. Florida Republican Jeff Miller is the chair of the House VA Committee. If you've known about problems like this for years, why are you only now calling on the VA secretary to resign? The issue is much larger than one person. It is a bureaucracy that really lives for itself and not for the veterans that it is supposed to take care of. The inspector general's office says it is too soon to determine whether these scheduling schemes led to the deaths of any veterans. They're going to have to comb through patients' records and autopsies to determine that. But the VA secretary has already ordered Phoenix officials to triage those 1,700 veterans who were not on any waiting list at all to make sure that they get care right away, Charlie.